What's up you wild ligers? Today we are taking a look at the new iPhone. Coming from a guy who owns an iPhone himself, I must say that I'm extremely disappointed with the new release. Now there were three points Apple stressed out and it was the facial recognition software. You could use your face to unlock your phone. This is one of those features to me that sounded obsolete. Everyone's saying it's cool. Yeah, it may be cool and it sounds cool. I mean, it's a cool feature, but think about it. It's like, you can now use your face to unlock your iPhone. Oh, can I use my ass too? Whatever happened to simplicity when you're talking about... Oh, cool. Hey guys, check this out. See? It recognized my face and it unlocked. To me, it's not a big deal. This is coming from a guy who's own nothing but Apple iPhones, it's really not a big deal. So when I heard Apple stressing that, I was like, I mean, I guess it's cool, but there's already finger touch ID and it's literally as simple as, now my phone's unlocked. So being able to do that with your face is really not much of a difference or time saver or anything like that. So that feature to me was just stupid. The wireless charging makes no sense either. It's kind of like when you have a cord or even a long cord, you know, you can have it plugged in and still use it, still FaceTime if you're on your bed or next to your computer, like whatever. But honestly, I feel like the wireless charging is only good when you're going to bed. So you can like put your phone down on the pad because it still has to be, you know, right there. That's the only time where I see it being like so handy where you can just kind of put it down and it'll charge and then pick it back up. But otherwise, you can't exactly use it while it's on charge. So wireless charging actually sounds better than what it is. People think it's like, oh, I can have the phone in my hand in my room while it's charging. No, it's got to be on the mat. So that kind of doesn't make it that great. And the third point is that they just went on and on about the new facial recognition software being able to animate the emojis now. Why would I need that? Why would I need this? Did Apple look back in their past four years of sales and said, hey, which audience do we sell to the most? Oh, 11 year old girls? Okay, well, let's just cater to them. Otherwise, What's so special about animating an emoji? So they're implementing something Snapchat has been pretty much doing already. But this is one of those features that people are going to use for maybe like a week or two. And then everybody's going to get over it. Because why would you be in public going, I can't come in. I'm late for work. Like this guy's facial expression says it all. This is one of those things the little girls are going to love so much for maybe about a week. It's also one of those things where, surprise, all the girlfriends are going to be sending cute whatever stuff to their boyfriends for maybe the first months while their boyfriends receive them and go, huh. It's gonna get old and out really fast. But guys, check it out. Like, it's all screen now. Don't mind the way it looks kind of cropped like when you're playing a game or video or something, but you know, it's all screen. They say it's the smartest smartphone yet. I feel like it's the stupidest one. Like, don't stand too close to that iPhone there, Billy. You'll catch it stupid. And then the portrait lighting mode, which is just a fancier way of saying, you know, a filter or maybe even a simple Photoshop tool. But now it's included in your phone. Precise facial mapping, creating striking studio-like quality images. All you're doing is darkening the background. It ain't that fancy. Now, as a video guy, I really enjoy the optical stabilization. The 1080p slow-mo. That's great and all, but it's priced at $1,000. Yeah, so is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera with 13 stops of dynamic range, which is gonna give you already much better quality than any iPhone can put out. But you want me to pay $1,000? $1,000? Gold the blooms, a thousand potatoes for a freaking device that's gonna unlock recognizing my face and a little emoji animator. I'm gonna pay you a thousand bucks for that. You could literally buy a very good, I'm not even talking about a decent, a very good laptop for a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars will get you a 17 inch Core i7 laptop, four times 2.8 megahertz, one terabyte hard drive, 128 gigs of solid state, the GTX 1050 two gigabyte, and eight gigs of RAM. Like, 
Why would I buy it? Oh, and it's faster. Like, what does that even mean? Every iPhone in the past has always claimed it's faster than the previous one. Yet most people will never tell the difference between like the iPhone 4 and the 7. So facial recognition that's virtually useless. Wireless charging that sounds way better than what it actually is. And being able to animate emojis, which is possibly the most useless thing I've ever heard of. As if I'm gonna stand there with my iPhone 24 seven, making funny faces at it so I can make poop talk. But let's not forget the augmented reality, which is funny because it's just one of those things where there was an app for that, but now it's kind of like a feature. That's all iPhone's doing nowadays. Nothing's really exclusive, nothing's really revolutionary. And I don't know if I'm alone on this one, but I'm still ticked off about the fact that they got rid of their aux port. I don't care what anybody says. When you have headphones like this, beautiful noise canceling headphones or anything else you're using because you know, you want everything to be more simple and practical and hassle free. I don't care about adapters. The less I have, the better. So all in all, I'd say this iPhone, especially for the price they're talking about, $1,000 is dead in the water, which is good because it's not waterproof anyway. But looking at the whole Animoji presentation and everyone in the audience, you know, going as if it's like the greatest thing you can have on a phone, I honestly saw it laughable. I'm sticking literally to my iPhone 6 and haven't upgraded because I'm not missing out on anything. And people are still going to camp out like four days in front of the store to buy this thing. It just shows how much of fanboys and like brainless nematode they are. That's my rant for today. Thank you so much to those of you who like, subscribe, and share my videos. And can we please talk about the iPhone 9? What happened? Is it because 789? Is 9 not good enough of a number? What is it with this electronic device inequality? I'm gonna gather a group of people so we can go out blocking traffic with signs that protest this. Oh, but the X, ooh, the X is... <laughs>